this series uh, four weeks ago, and I said we're going to use like the four, five to six weeks to, to look at why life insurance is a benefit to the assured. The first week we talked about time insurance. The second week we talked about we talked about the whole life insurance. And the, the last week we talked about endowment. And we said the endowment policy is like the, like a, is an hybrid. We said the endowment policy is an hybrid of uh, the term assurance and the whole life assurance. And last week we were able to we were able to talk about the benefits of endowment. We said it's 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 an intruder free. You remember you remember we talked about that it's an intruder free, intruder free estates. How do I mean by that? That's the only estate and estate that the the extended family will not be able to intrude. You know the 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 the, the, the benefit is it's given to the named beneficiary. It's not when the extended family will come and chase the, the immediate member of the family away that, yes, they want to take over the inheritance of their brother or something like that. So those are the things we talked about last week. So today we want to move to the next on this series. We'll be discussing an interesting topic today because we all look forward to old age, you know? Those days, you know, in our eight days, when you are young, you know, you live in the morning, you go out, you know, when you have your paid employment, you always look forward to, ah, so there will be a time you will stop living early in the morning and returning late. How do I mean? We always look forward to retirement. But it's not all everybody that looks forward to retirement that makes provision towards retirement. So that's what we'll be discussing this week and yeah, this evening. We'll be talking about, you know, uh, the, the, the series we've been considering is why life insurance is a benefit to be assured. And this evening, we'll be talking about annuity. What do we mean by annuity? And how is it a benefit in the, in, in the, in the life assurance um, you know, it's a life insurance, it's a life office product. So how is it a benefit to the assured? But in, in annuity, we don't, when you pick up annuity, we call the person annuitant. The person who, who is into annuity, who picked up annuity contracts, we, call, we refer to the person, we refer to that person as annuitant. And annuity is an annual income you earn. Although it can be, I mean, you may decide to say, okay, no, you don't want to be earning it annually. It can be broken down to monthly. So annuity is when you when you give a lump sum of money and in return, you are being paid an annual income. So and when you pick up annuity, it gives you a regular income. It gives you a regular income. So this evening, we'll be looking about the types of annuity. We have the immediate annuity and we have the deferred annuity. So I want to, let's, let's look at the, I hope you can all see my screen. Can you all see my screen? I said here, I have on my screen here that- Yes, we can. Thank you very much. Immediate annuity is a type of annuity contract which provide immediate payment to the annuitant in exchange for a single lump sum of payment. That's just what I've explained. Now, when you, the, the immediate annuity is, the contract picks up immediately. Like, let's say you, you put down maybe 20 million naira. I'm working with example, you put down 20 million naira this month of February. By the end of February, you will start earning an income. If you have, if you have read, if you have, so uh, instructed the life office to start giving you monthly income. Or you can say, okay, you just want to be ending it annually. 
So it helps you to look forward to, to have a regular income. So this annuity mostly it's for the we are, it's always good as retirement. You know, so many people they think once they just retire, you know, some people have bought over the years, so many people have bought their fingers at retirement. You know, imagine somebody who has worked for like 35 years or so, and you don't get your gratuity. The business you have not been doing your when you were much younger, the business you have, you have not been doing your maybe in your 30s and 40s. You just take the whole money and put it into that business. Yes, it's always we always say, oh, when, once you have done the some people say I've done the business study, the business is profitable. You will be amazed by the time you now put the whole money into the business. The, 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 I mean, the business is not giving you the proceed that it has been projected. So, so many people they go to their early grave when the whole money they have at retirement. It, when they just see it going down the drain, just like that. Why? Because they have not learned the arts of trading. They have not been into business. No business is an art. You need to learn it. You need to know how to be about it. But if with this, with annuity, when you put on annuity, annuity and when you put on annuity, it's just it, you, you consider any your regular income that you are used to when you are in paid employment. So when you pick up a it gives you that regular income. So you do not, if you, if you will not even feel that you are no more in paid employment again because you pick up any regular income. So another type I will be discussing is the deferred annuity. How does this deferred annuity work? This is a contract to commence payment to the annuitant at a future date. Annuitant, I tell the person who is into an annuity contract, we call them annuitant. So when you, when it is for future purpose, you like, okay, let me start with certain money, you know, you are put like office that, okay, I have annuity in mind, but I want to save up the money for annuity. So you start putting down the money at regular uh, in server. So at that future, they might say, okay, the next 10 years, I want to start my annuity in the next 10 years. So, but to now pick up a plan now, you now start saving towards your annuity. So those, the period between now and when that annuity is, I'll call it the best in period. So that time you are gathering money ahead of time to start your annuity. So when, you, when, when the annuity is to start at a future date, that is what is called deferred annuity. I hope we can all relate with what I'm discussing with us this evening. Yes, we can. Thank all you right. very much. In the course of that deferred period, you can, you can like, okay, if, if, if you need money, there's room for, okay, you can call for money. Uh, the, then when, they, when that's, when the maybe you have said like 10 years, maybe you want to say, okay, between now and the, the next 10 years, you want to save towards that meeting. But for one reason or the other, you might say, okay, you need some money. But as, as maturity, when that period ends, you call that period maturity, then you it will now roll into annuity. That is the part annuity, as in when you have you have it in mind that the future date you will be you will start to admit and start saving towards it. Now, another another top L, another point I want to discuss is the cash option. That's what I was, I just started talking about that. During that vesting period, you may need money. If you need money, you can call for money. You can call for, I mean, I mean percentage, certain percentage of money when you need that money. So, but in this annuity, this one that you can call for money is when it is you as an individual. When as an individual, you structure it. Maybe somebody is into business. Let's say you are, you are a business person that you are not under a paid employment. You are not because most, uh, uh, most uh, regular uh, employees, uh, a, a well-established organization, they always have what the compensation form for them. For their service, it's called the pension fund. 
when at maturity or at retirement, you can when you get your pension form funds, we cannot roll it into anything. But if you as an individual, maybe you're a business person and you know that you are you know that paid you can you can pick, you can plan your annuity, you can you can plan it. So in the course of it, maybe you are not you are saving money, maybe you don't need money, you can still you can you can call for you can call for the money even though the time has not for you to start their day. And once you have the money back, you can still put it back. But you during that investing period, you can call for money. But if you are if the um, if you are working with a with that with an established organization, you cannot just call for that money because every month. The money, the certain percentage of money that goes into pension and fund administrators. We call them PFA, pension fund administrators. So there is an agreement between the employer and the and, and the PFAs that go and every month a certain, certain amount of money is being is, is is taken into that PFA account for every employee of the organization. So at the time. Such people do not roll the their the accumulated money into a community. You remember in those days when when, when our fathers when they retire, the you know government give them retirement benefits and they start earning their pension to death. But these days, you no, know, it's not, it doesn't work like that again. So it's, it's you as an individual that you have to plan your retirement. Even people working in corporate organization, there's nothing like that. So they are, your company will be giving you pension at, at retirement. So that's what what is now what organization now puts in place is that the safe that that certain amount of money with pension fund administrators. So they'll be able to at, at the end of the day you get that money. You have the option of rolling it into an AT or program withdrawal, but I'm not talking about program withdrawal. I'm talking about annuity because annuity is for the life office. So that's why I, I'm encouraging us to work, uh, uh, I'm enlightening us about annuity this evening. So that's money at the end of our retirement be rolled out into, be converted into annuity. But if you are not underpaid employment, the honors is on you, the responsibility is on you to plan your retirement. To plan your retirement, even if you are in big time, if, if, if you are big time business, you may, yes, you, everybody always say that business will always boom. But there is that sense of you, uh, that that urge to always plan for the rainy, the the, you know, the, uh, the those, that time when you will not have all the strength and vigor to do your running around the game. So whether you are in paid employment or you are a business person. The almost is on you, the responsibility is on you that will plan for your retirement. So that as retirement, at your old age, you would not have to depend on your children. Yes, everybody pray for to eat the, the fruit of uh, the eat the food of children. You understand, as it will reap from the, your neighbor, you have, you have nurtured your children, and those old age, you don't force children to be giving you something. But we, even though you want your children to stay, to, to now start giving you something, that doesn't mean that you not be a liability to the children. So you still have to be able to plan for your own day that when the children come, when the children give them their, their own uh, response, when, when the children take that, it will not be an addition. It will not be that if you do not see your children at old age, you will not survive. May it not be a portion. But we, we, for it not to be our portion, we need to plan our old days. We need to plan our retirement. The retirement is that time when you not have all the strength to do all the hustling again. So that is the retirement age. So you need to plan towards it, and that is what why annuity as is. I mean, it's it's a necessity for everyone to think about and to consider. Now, why annuity is a preferred option as at retirement, it provides steady income at retirement. Annuity provides steady income at retirement. 
you don't need to, you don't even think of where we the, the, the money to eat. Where is it coming from? Because you have your annuity running for you. They preserve the capital that could be eroded in trade. I mean, the, the business you have not been into for years that you are not used to, you are not used to that terrain and you don't get all the money you have worked for over the years and just put it in the in the business it could be eroded right in your very eyes before you know it. So to preserve such capital, annuity is, is an option. They prevent the retiring from daily hustles. You don't, I mean, as retirement, you have worked on your life, you need to rest. Retirement is the time to rest and to now begin to eat from the fruit of your labor. So it's, it, it's prevent, it prevents the retirees from daily hustles because you have, you, you, you have labor. It's time for you to rest and enjoy the fruit of your labor. So with a, 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 an entity gives you that steady income. So you don't think of, oh, you want to chase one business or no, you don't need it again at that age, at 65, at 70. You don't need that again. So it creates more time for physical exercise and social bonding. So when you when you know that, I mean, you are sure of your income, and at that age, you are not thinking of a build, building castle again. You have made so that you all you need is money for maintenance at that age. When you are already thinking of, I mean, how you will join your ancestors. Yeah, even if your ancestors, you want. To, no matter how old you are, you will still join your ancestors. So those times, those retirement time, 70, 75, you must be putting your heart in order. You are not thinking of making money again. Rather, money that you have made over the years, you should be reaping from the from, from the dividends of uh, from, from, from your investments. So at that time, you are not thinking of how to make money. So you have time to bond with with your age mates that, that are still alive at that time, you, you have time to do some, I mean, to go to gym, to do physical exercise, to, I mean, old age, retirement should be a time to look forward to and should be enjoyed, not to be endured. I hope we can all relate with that. So those are the reasons why annuity is an option for anyone who is looking at retirement. On this note, because of our time, I've um, seen some hands up already. So I want to stop here and welcome question. Madam Yuanda Deleke, you are raising hands already. Yeah, good evening, madam. Once again, good evening, everyone. Good evening, ma'am. Um, thank you so much for this beautiful topic you brought today. It's actually a very interesting topic. So I have, um, okay, about two questions to ask. Okay. First, you said, um, I'm muty, that um, at old age, for example, maybe I've worked for so many years with an establishment and I'm given gratuity, I can just put down like 20, 20 million Naira and then Let's say I put it down 1st of February. By the end of February, I will start taking um, income, an income from the money that, that I've dropped. Yes. Okay, what percentage? Is it that money that will be shared and be given back to me? Or what interest am I going to get on that 20 million naira? For how long? Is it till that do us part? Is it forever that we'll be getting that money? You didn't talk about all of that. How long, how much am I going to be getting every month? How okay. long will I get the money? That's the first question. Okay. Should I go ahead or you want to answer first? Okay, let me quickly ask, answer that first question. I really appreciate what that question is. It's a very good question you asked. Yes, annuity is for life. Once you start any uh, annuity, it is till death. Do you understand? So, like, just like you have said, it's, it's always been it's always been well worked out at the life office when you put out the the uh, thirty million. Actually, when uh, that thirty million will be divided to for income of ten years. That that thirty million you can, you, you can even do the rough estimate. You can divide it by 
10 years, 10 years is like 120 months. So you can even divide it by 120 to know that, okay, this is what will be ending. But even if after 10 years I've been exhausted, if, if you say I've lived that 10 years, you will still be giving that same money. Let's say it has been worked out and maybe, maybe you are not getting less than 100,000 for purpose of just example. Let's say it's 100,000 that it has been calculated that you'll be earning. Even for the next 10 years, even after 10 years, if the annuitant is still alive, the annuitant will still keep getting that money. So that is what another benefit of annuity, that it is for life. I, I hope I'll be able oh, to yeah. answer that question. Yeah, I just want to clarify that. Okay. You said, the, is, it, is this a standard that it will be divided across 10, it will be spread across 10 years or what? Yes, yes. 10 years. Yes. So let's say I'm dropping the 30 million at the age of 65. Yes. They will divide, it, they will spread it across 10 years. And if yes. I still live up to 95 years. You will still be I'll earning still that be money. Yes. yes. Wow, that's interesting. Yes, that's how Second I think question. Was, Okay. Okay. Second question. You said deferred annuity. You defined it by saying that um, if uh, if I have intention to to subscribe for annuity, uh, maybe the, within the next uh, five years, I I will just uh, indicate my interest. Yes. And then um, it will be noted that I'm still going to do annuity and. Yes. If I need money, I can still come over to get money. I don't understand that area. Yes. Is it from say, the money that I, I, I will still drop or I've dropped? I don't understand because the way you explained the fad annuity is that I will uh, make my intention okay, within the next five years I'm going to subscribe yes. for it and I'm saving. I <laughs> said save that's you the you it. Yeah. Okay, will I be dropping money? You'll be dropping money. You will save towards it. You're not is a default and it's so it's like okay, you want to you you want to you you have the mind that okay, the next five years you want to start to admit it, but you will not save towards it. You no, know, this time around, you are not dropping the lump sum like like immediate admit. Okay. So you will save towards it. Okay, like in some like pay in installments, kind yes, of yes, yes. Like I'm paying the annuity in installments. Yes, you that you save it. Okay. The same, you not save towards it. When the cost of it, if you need money, you can come for your money. But you know, if, if you have taken the money and you did not return it back, whatever is left at that uh, at, the, at the time you have indicated that you want to start the the annuity, it is that amount that will be rolled into annuity for you. Do you get it now? Okay. Yes, I do. So as I'm as I'm dropping the money, no uh, no amount will be paying. I mean, I won't be getting at a regular basis because no, I it has not, it it has not started. Bigger, it has not started. It now, has not started. That's why I call it period. vesting period. You call it is a vesting yeah, period. That period you are waiting okay. to start the annuity. You are just saving okay. towards it. That is what makes oh. it the part. It's not starting immediately. Wow. It's a future thing. That's the default that needs. Very interesting. I'm hearing this for the first time. Okay, that's interested. why this program has come to stay. It's a good job you're doing. Thank that. you, madam. Mr. Peter Debola, kindly on mute and ask your question, sir. Okay. Um, good evening, madam. Thank you evening, for sir. the wonderful presentation. Thank you, sir. Um, it's another great presentation today. Thank you, sir. My question is this. You, I want, just want to clarify first before I now ask the question. Now, <clears throat> if somebody that is working in a very good organization that has pension fund, you said that immediately they pay him, for those of us that are on the fifth floor now, so you can claim your money at any time. Okay. Now, if you collect that money and you 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 do annuity, okay. probably I am planning to retire at 60. Now I'm 55. Okay. I said the annuity will start at 60, the next five years. Okay. 
So, and I've placed the money with uh, the insurance, uh, with an insurer. Okay. So, if anything happened between that time and the time one is 60, are you saying that one has dashed the insurer the money or the next of kin of uh, an insured can be entitled to that money? I want to clarify that one first. Okay. Then second is this. I heard you also saying that if the person uh, drop his money, it's going to determine the number of years that is going to uh, that they are going to spread that money on. Probably ten years, probably twenty years. How do you determine the number of years that they are going to spend? The, that they are going to spread the money. Is it? Is there a standard that says okay, you are buying annuity at sixty, it's going to be spread? across 10 or 15 years, or it is in short that would determine the number of years that they are going to spread the money across. I want to know. And if it is the insurer that is going to determine the number of years that they are going to spread the money. So if anything happens, so why can't they pay the beneficiary? That is anybody that is surviving the insured. So why should uh, why should the insurance uh, company take the remaining money? So those are the clarification I'm seeking, please. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much for those questions. Now the first question is that. Um, let me start from the last question. Insurance insurance will not take the money if the money if the annuitant dies in the course of the annuity. The, like this is a standard that like is 10 years. When you when you put down the lump sum to start, let's say you want to start the, the immediate annuity. Once you start it, it's, it's a standard that when you are when you are meeting, the, your money will be calculated for, for 10 years. It's a standard annuity is calculated based on 10 years. Then after 10 years, if the annuitant lives on the annuitant keeps getting the money. But within 10 years, within 10 years, if the annuitant dies, the remaining money will be given to the beneficiary. There is no time that the life office goes away with the money. That's why there's always beneficiary. So the money is given, just like, for the example, I calculated that not, uh, maybe within 10 years is like 120 months. If you have opted that and want to be taking the money on the monthly basis, maybe out of 120 months, which is that 10 years, maybe you have just uh, collected your, your money for like 60 months. The remaining 60 months will be the money for the remaining 60 months will be given to the beneficiary. It's only after the and you that they've exhausted that 10 years. Because whatever amount you are dropping, it's spread across 10 years. The money is to be divided among 10 years, within 10 years. So if the, if the annuitant has lived 10 years, nothing will be given to the beneficiary. But if the annuitant has not lived 10 years, if it's simple within 10 years, the remaining money will be given to the beneficiary. I hope you understand that, sir. Now, the, the first question that says, we, if the if the annuity has not started and the, the person dies, all the money that you have saved, that that person has saved, will be given to the beneficiary because annuity has not started in the, course of, in the case of the bad annuity. The annuity has not started. So the money will be given to the beneficiary. I believe I've been able to answer your question, sir. Hello, sir. Miss Adebola, I hope I've been able to answer your question. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, sir. thank you very much. Do I still have another person who wants to ask question? Our time is off, but I can still accommodate one more question. Do I have another person? Hand it on mute and ask your question. I'm waiting. Okay. If I do not have another person, 
I want to appreciate everyone that have uh, attended this meeting today. I want to say thank you for your encouragement, for your support. Those of you watching me on Facebook, I want to say thank you. I want to appreciate everyone. Next week is another time. Let's meet together within five, between, the, between 5 30 p.m. and 6 p.m. Join me next time for another. No, the, I said this series, is, uh, we are still, I'm still going to talk about benefits of life insurance. Life insurance, we are sure. We'll be looking at another interesting topic next week. So join me same time next week by 5 30, between 5 30 and 6. I want to say thank you, everyone. I want to appreciate everyone. Let me see if there's a few. You're okay. welcome, Madam. Madam Puntoy, good evening, Madam. Mr. Follow yourself, Mrs. Sadio Lu. Mrs. Sadio Lu, I'll see you for the first time in my meeting. Thank you. I really appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thanks for joining. Thank you very much. Maya YJ. Thank you. Thank you, everyone of you that have attended this meeting. Madam Yoanda Deleke, thank you. How much all of you that have attended my meeting, those of you on Facebook. Thank you, ma. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you, Madam. Thank you, Yes, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. So let's meet again next week. Thank you so much. Bye -bye. Let, uh, thank you, sir. Let's meet again next week. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> yeah.